guys, welcome to this video. Thank you for watching. I had that to start with. And first of all, I would like uh, to thank you, some of you uh, who have been following these builds on Instagram and Facebook on my personal RC related Facebook page, the link below. Um, where I'm, if I have something new, I'll, I'll, I'll post it there first. And I'm, I feel honored that they gave us so many compliments and kind of words on this build and uh, what I've done so far to it. Um, so thank you for that and then I will zoom in the camera and show you up close a bit a few of the things I've done. I'm not completely re ready yet but uh, I think some, some parts the, there is a story to that. So, without further ado, zooming in. All right, now here we go. Now, well, as some may notice, the the body isn't entirely smooth, smooth, smooth again. Um, that is because at first I had some issues with the paint. I used pr primer, but the paint wouldn't stick. At some point, the, the paint just fell off. Uh, so I had to start all over again, and, and, and that mean, means I had to uh, sand the body, sand, sand all the old paint off, and that is why it, the body is damaged it, it, on a few parts here and there. Uh, well, let's, let's say it gives the body a bit character. Uh, starting in front guys, uh, these roof lights, I, I, always, I thank uh, Berend in Germany for those, those normally are for the Tamiya Tundra, he had five of them, I asked on Facebook and other uh, media, does, does anybody have those, and Berend said, well I have them, you, I have those, you can have them. So there will be functional, there will be orange LEDs in, there will be orange LEDs in here. You're also looking at the, the, the decal, I had uh, the original logo picture below somewhere over there. Uh, I had it, uh, I'm, I, I digitalized it and I cleaned it up in Photoshop. And I had a nice lady who always makes my de decals make this one for me. The lights, uh, it, the, the headlights give room for four LEDs each. Two, normally two five millimeter and two three millimeter. I decided I drilled one of the three millimeter holes to five, so there will be three white lights and one small blue light in here. For the rear, as we're talking about the lights, each uh, light gives room for three LED units and there will be uh, red, red and orange in that order. As you can see, I, I used some mesh behind the grill. I opened the grill up. Normally all those holes are, all those holes are, are closed. I decided to open them up to give a little bit more of a realistic look. The, the decal in the front of the grill it isn't for it isn't saying for because I don't have a decal saying for it's a decal saying four by four. Still starts with four. So the snorkel, these awesome fender flares. And the rubber mirrors, because those are rubber, I bought those um, on the website, I believe in, in Czechia. And they make all this stuff and they sell it at a pretty reasonable price. Um, Interior is dropping. Um, I will put the leaf, uh, will leave a link below because they also have stuff for other cars like the Tamiya 
Pundra bodies and Hilux bodies. They have some already, uh, they have some pr uh, pretty awesome stuff there. Thumbs up for those guys. At first, I didn't put, want this roll cage on the car, but I could, uh, couldn't fab, find a, 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 an alternative which was interesting enough, or anybody who could make me an interesting uh, roll cage. So I decided to, to make this uh, metallic black, and now it looks better than chrome. Also, the grill and the bumper all were chrome. Just like the the, the, the the roll cage and the rear bumper, I used oven cleaner uh, to get all the room off, which was not all that easy. I think uh, mod uh, I think modern oven cleaner isn't as aggressive as it used to be. Uh, the warlock. The decal, the name, it is the font is Charlemagne for those interested. Uh, I also have that on the side. Side, of course, the Pitbull logo because I'm gonna come to run Pitbull Rugbeast 1.9s on the hair. And of course, credits to my sponsor. Asia Tees at the day as the, they are going to, going to contribute heavily on the chassis. Those with a key, keen eye already have seen the, the gun rack in the rear, at the rear window. There's a gun rack, I did paint the guns, the rifles. Um, the, the, the smokestacks. Are homemade and um, that was a custom made by myself. This is a uh, stainless st steel which I did bent and I just uh, like them to, to be cut off in the, the, the way I did now. I had an extra example and I will throw in a pic below uh, upstairs. The heat shield the deflector is, is uh, in fact, an old mesh used on a computer fan, which I laying around. I kept it for some purpose, and when I was building those those smokestacks, I thought, yes, this is what this mesh is perfect for. The towing hooks, which are often used on on bumpers and stuff, I decided to use them in the the bed uh, to make it to give it a little bit more scale realism uh, there's also going to be a, a cherry can rear and some scale accessories those who have been pay, paying attention to my other videos have seen perhaps a uh, a scale accessory in the background I forgot to hide it uh, but it was there uh, so those who didn't notice have had a, a sneak peek at a skill accessory I did make myself which is going in the rear in the bed and I can say one thing I have a sarcastic sense of humor we just have to wait and see of course there is a driver and yeah uh, you you already may have recognized them, and as I said, it is an introduction of this video where I explain a couple of videos ago what Spaceball was going to do. This is A, the fonts from Happy Days. And we're going to try to make, to, to use a ser servo to make the hat turn with the wheels with the, the front wheels which isn't all that hard to do I just need to find uh, the proper serve. The interior has been painted uh, maybe it shows a bit yes I think you can see it like that there are some de uh, there are some decals now it shows a little bit better it isn't fixed yet it isn't it isn't installed so uh, there are some de decals on the dashboard for the speedometer uh, such so 
Uh, what more is there to tell, guys? Um, this is going to be a build full with little, tiny, small, lots of tiny d details. There's still a f work to be done. But I think, in my opinion, which is strictly my opinion, and nobody, no one has to agree on that, I think so far yet this is turning out one awesome build. Just like these, I just uh, I call them cyber rails. I did not see them all that often in RC, to be honest. Just like the smokestacks with a deflector. I've seen smokestacks. Just a few in RC, but not with, with the heat shield. Yes. And also, uh, like these side rails, I made those. Um, this is hollow uh, aluminum tubing, which I did bend. And uh, on the inside, I put some, uh, put some very thick epoxy glue. I drilled holes there and there. And from underneath, there is a screw going through there, which is holding in the epoxy glue and it is a super tight fit for those and think I think that, that's interesting who are wondering how did I install these smokestacks let me get something and show you all right guys I'm back well I do not know what the English word for this we call this a plug you put it uh, in a wall after you drill the hole this goes in and by using a screw this extends and jams get stuck in the wall the, this is the same idea I used on these smokestacks I pu put this clock in the smokestack I drilled a hole in the bed and from the other, and from the other side bleh, this went through the hole and just in the plug which was in the smokestacks and this guys this isn't going anywhere this is this is a solid fix I guarantee that was a small tip that I thought of myself. Um, dust. So guys, um, I can talk for hours about this build uh, because I still have some crazy ass ideas. Uh, but I wanted to keep it. Sh I wanted. To, I want to try to keep it sh short. I'm turning it a little bit for, for you to look at. But guys, that, that, that also brings us to the end of this video, uh, so you can see, so you know now uh, what my progress is on, is on this build. If you have any ideas, questions, comments, remarks, guys, you know the drill, comment box below guys. And until that moment, I thank you for watching guys, and I hope to see you again in my future videos. Bye bye.